Hey y'all, Coach in the fight here. We're looking up the name of our Messiah. Um, yeah, you like, no, that's why it's WH, but we're copying this letter here, which is the first letter, it's supposed to be the Yod. So we'll copy it and we'll paste it into Google Translate. So when we paste the Yod, when we place the Yod in Hebrew, in Google Translate, it translates to the J sound. So now we need the shin set. So there we'll get us a shin. It's the second letter in its name. And we'll put it over here in next. So now when you just put those two together, you get there is. That's the name Yahshua. When somebody say Yahshua, what they're saying is there is. Okay, there is what? Because when you look back over here in Matthew chapter 1, we'll drop all the way down here to verse 25. You see where it's spelled in uh, lowercase caps, all caps, lowercase caps. When we come over here, we'll go back to Matthew 1 here. Let's go back. You see down here where they called his name, you, spit, you see three sounds, Yah or Yeh, Yeh, I said first two letters, Yeh, the S is the Sh sound, or Sh, like, and then you have the N at the end, now that's important because that's Yashana, three syllables, so now we need this new sound, let's see, what is it, which means sea, fish, activity, or fish, or life. So you put these three together, we'll, we'll do it here and see what Google says, but before Google spits anything out, you have arm and hand work and deed. It's talking about our Father in heaven and talking about his work, which is his scripture, his deed, what he did for our salvation, his arm, his protection, his hand, his provision. This is all really pointing to him. That's why it's recognized with up, uplifted hands. And then you have the shin, which is way down here. It represents eat consume and destroy so we put those two together you have us eating and consuming or our own personal choice which is to destroy our fathers or i shouldn't say ours but some people's choice is to destroy that work that deed that hand but then you have another syllable there which is the norm and it's is seed fish activity of life so Think about it. You have the work that our father did and you have us consuming it through his word. But then where's the activity? It's because we're calling him Yahshua. There, there is no activity in it. All it is is us back at home reading his scripture. When you just have the first two letters, his deed and his work and our eating and consumption of that deed and work, that's just reading the scripture. Okay, when you add that last syllable, now you got to take action. You got to go and uh, be with the fish, you gotta go plant seeds of life. Now, let's see what Google has to say. But first, we gotta find us a noon. Well, Hosanna. And it's good that that word comes up because that's actually his name. We did a video, I have to point to it. But that's his name. Okay, where's my new head though? Wait, wait, wait. Did we go to the Greek? Yeah, we went to the Greek. We need it in the Hebrew. Well, the Hebrew. No results. Ah, it is a result. Ah, what is it? Mm. It's in there. We need a new, we need a new one. Oops, so we got it, copy. Now let's see, what is Google gonna say? Da, 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 da. Suspense, Dang. Sleeping, ha ha ha. Look at that. So if you put in Yashana in Hebrew, Google translates it as sleeping. Hmm. All right, Google. Better than calling them an earth pig. Yeah. Now, see, when you put that in the Old Testament, that's what you get. Old, veteran, dated, as in 
the ancient one. We talked about that in another video. To show you what his real name is, it's three syllables. Oddly enough, it says it's not found in the Old Testament. But actually it is. You just have to know how to look. So we're gonna find it in here. First of all, let's let's start with yeah, sure. This is saying Joshua. So it's saying that our Messiah's name is not in the Old Testament. But that should be close enough. So we'll let's go there and let's look at that. Nehemiah 8 and 17. So we have Joshua. So there's Joshua. So now we need the end sound. We want an end at the end. Yashin. There we go. To sleep. Mm. So that's the word that they use to sleep. Sleeping. And looking at 3465, we see Yashan. Nah, gotta pronounce the N sound, so it's Yashana. And it means old, an adjective. Now, when we look over here at the times that it's mentioned, there's one that really jumps out, and that is Nehemiah 3 and 6. And in the New International Version, it's called the Yashana Gate, or the Yashana Gate. But look at this over here. You see Hasana which could also be his name because when he came into Jerusalem, that's what they called him, was Hosanna, or Hashanna, or Hoshana, or Hashana. So we have Yah, a hand closed, open to work, be done finished work shin teeth ivory point of rock a peak to devour consume destroy something sharp El Shaddai El Shaddai and then none a fish to sprout to spread offspring Descended, action, life, help to the throne, help, heir to the throne, heir to the throne, heir to the throne, faithfulness, heir to the throne. So without the noon, you take out the heir to the throne. This is the big point of this whole video is this letter here because that's what's missing when people, when you hear people say, Yahshua, when they call uh, Messiah Yahshua. Yeah, that's close. You're just missing this other letter. And let's go back and remind ourselves where this other letter comes from. It's all the way back in Matthew chapter 1. When you're looking at when what they called the Messiah, you see that in verse 25, it says, um, and he called his name. And that's, of course, Joseph calling the Messiah's name, what he named him. And then when you look at verse 21, it says, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name. These are the angels commanding Joseph what to call him. And you notice that in both times, uh, that word is spelled in all caps. But then when you look back in the other verses, like for instance, in verse one, you see it in lowercase caps. And that's because it's just talking about him in the third person. Well, it's just talking about him as you know, a common person, whereas down here is showing reverence to his name. Well, when you come over to the Strong's and you look in here, uh, it shows you that those names are different. You see there in verse one, looking at the Strong's, you see how it is Yasu, like Yashu, like Yashua. There is no S sound at the end and there is no N sound at the end. There's no um, us, us sound that us is missing and the un is missing 
Let's look at all of the others. See, down here you have a oosh down here. This is, um, I'm not sure, verse 16. In verse 16, you have a oosh. Let's go to look at verse 16. First thing you notice is that it is in lowercase letters. That's what you really need to know is that it's in lowercase letters. And it and it's just talking about the Messiah, just like you would talk about any other child or any, you know. Then down here, you are missing once again the us and you are missing the un. As in verse 18, you see it's in lowercase letters there. But then you look in verse 21, you see you have a in sound or nun sound at the end of his um, name. That's verse 21. And again, that's the one we say, uh, this is the angels that is commanding him. And then again, down here in verse 25, you see that it has the in or the on sound at the end. And the rest of these times are just man just adding the, what they want. And that's the us sound at the end of it. And that's why we commonly call him by that name there. J-E-S-U-S -S, with that us sound on it but it's clear that that's not truly his name that's what they're just calling him if you want to know what his name is you have to look at verse 21 or verse 25 where his name is yeshuna yash or ye yashuna you got to pronounce that in at the end and it, it could be a subtle pronunciation something like yashuna but it's it's there you can't ignore it and say Yahshua. That that ain't there. So it's Yahshua gets you closer. Or Yashan gets you closer. Yasan is what I uh, say sometimes. You hear me say in my prayer in my prayers is like Yasan. And that's because, you know, I'm looking over here and it could have a shin sound like Yahshua, like Yahshua, but it could also have the sin sound like Yasan. So I say a lot of times I'll say Yasan. Or and it sounds like Yaz son which i really think he was trying to tell us anyway but let's look back up here at the alternative which would be the s sound at the end which would be this cement here i'm sorry i pronounced that wrong but you look what it means it's a prop to support prop and assist a slow twisting or turning aside like a propped plant so when you look at the meaning of these three letters you have his work including his finished work and you have in us to consume that work consuming his word of God but then you end with a prop or a support or an assist which kind of makes sense if you wanted to but there are others who I believe are using this to say that Christianity is a crutch pointing to the cross as if the cross is a crutch because it's a prop or a support opposed to like we said the heir to the throne when you end it in the non sound but let me show you something also very interesting when you add these numbers up 10 for the yard, 300 for the shin, and 60 for the sandwich. You end up with 370 as your Dramatria score. But when you use the non instead, you end up with 360. 50 for the non, 300 for the shin, and 10 for the yard. But you remember earlier, we said that they called his name Hasana. Or Hashana. So that would replace the Yad with the H or the He sound, which means to behold, to show, or to reveal. And when you get that understanding, what it's saying is behold, or show, or reveal El Shaddai, heir to the throne. So there you go. Our Messiah, behold, El Shaddai, heir to the throne.